But I'm going to start with the Bengals because is this a statement game for them? They've made every statement this year so far, Coach, and it's still October. You think it's a statement game? It is a statement. It game. is? Every time Cincinnati started 4-0, they've made the playoffs. Some were wrong. When they got that, they slowed down. This is a good opponent, a physical opponent. This is the kind of team – a game they have to win early in the year. It'll get them ready for later on. This, I, I think it's a must game for them to define who the heck they are. It's not necessarily a must win, but it, it is a defining game for Cincinnati, and I'm just going to deal with the offense. Last year when they lost in the playoffs, there was no Marvin Jones, no Tyler Eifert, no A.J. Green in that lineup. So when they look at this football team, it's a different football team. The measuring stick, I believe, for a lot of football teams is the Seattle Seahawks, regardless of what the record is. So when they come out today, I live in the city. They need to win this football game so that they can keep the noise down in that city and look forward to the rest of the season. You know what, Tom? It's not a statement game. You know, they're at home. They're playing good. They're playing a team that struggles on the road. And like Boone mentioned earlier, that barely won the football game as we watched on Thursday. So... When you look at the situation here, yes, you win football games, they put them in front of you. And I think Cincinnati, if this was later in the year, we would probably say, yes, they need the momentum. In Cincinnati, going into the though, they're, they're, wait, they're waiting on the huge loss to the good team. They, this isn't a good team that they're playing against. This is just a team with a name. What, Seattle? This is, this is a team with a name. So, so you're going to record and say <laughs> Seattle is not a good team. Oh, as, as far as them playing on the road and playing in Cincinnati CC, they're not a good team. They struggled on the road. They're 0-2 right now on the road. So when you look at that and I look at that and I say, hey, this is a really good team on the road that they're playing against, this is not. This is only a name because they won the Super Bowl. This is only a name because Cam Chancellor made a play. This is like one of those deals in college football where a team has been so good for so long then you just play against them and the first thing you're supposed to say is oh they're a really good team well that's not the case right now they're trying to find their identity in mm. Seattle okay for one Seattle is a good team it's early in the season last year a lot of people said New England is horrible right, they right. got smashed by Kansas City so we see teams go through this but what I think you guys are missing the part about Cincinnati is their defense mm. and they are so much healthier this year than they have been the last two years one guy in particular, Geno Atkins. Last year, they only had 20 sacks. Geno only had three. Geno has three already right now. Second most in the NFL as far as defensive tackles. Who's ahead of him with 3.5? Aaron McDonald. Also, coming off the ends, Dunlap and Johnson. Man, this is a formidable defense. You can talk about the toys, Andy Dalton, AJ's playing fabulous, but the defense is playing the championship Boom. level. Boom. So it is important. They home through four games, it's 30 more catches, it's six more touchdowns, and it's 400 more yards. So whatever they're doing, they're doing right. it pretty darn Look, good. To me, 